Beautiful valley. Lizard trailhead. Hey, good morning, friends and neighbors. Here we are again, back out on the trail. We are uh, south of Telluride off of 145, and we are hiking the uh, Lizard Head Pass, which kind of goes up towards the backside of the Wilson Mountains, which if y'all know what the Wilson Mountains are, that is the uh, picture or the, the backdrop for your Coors Light Cans. Uh, beautiful day today, got up this morning. We were camped at a dispersed area at about 10,200 feet. Temperature was about 36 this morning when we got up. We came across, a, drove out of the dispersed area, came across the highway, and, and now we're over here on this hike through the piney woods at elevation. So we're having a good time. Uh, I keep forgetting to say this, and mainly because I don't like to say it, but if you like what we're saying and if you like what we're showing you, Hit that big subscribe button for us and give us a big thumbs up. That helps the channel and keeps us motivated to keep bringing this stuff to you. And uh, as we're hiking today, I will uh, continue to catch video and uh, keep you guys outside. So we'll see you down the trail. Well, we just had our first switch back and now we got our elevation coming in as we're coming up the backside of the Wilson Mountain. Really just gorgeous aspen stands out here. This actually uh, switched over to become the wilderness area versus just the national forest so not really sure what it takes to get that change it's just really unbelievable green tunnel really nice well down there is the uh Trout Lake and the Forest Service Road they call Priest Road. It goes back to the Priest uh, dispersed camping area that we saw yesterday. But wow, a little bit of a surprise came in. Didn't expect to see Trout Lake from here. That's a lot of elevation. Yeah, a lot of elevation. I just saw a mule deer doe run up at rock slide right there. She obviously winded us and hurt us. Coming up on the top of the elevation and man, what a view. And then old moon is right there. It's trying to sit. Now this is where you ask yourself the question, why didn't I bring my fishing pole? 
This is at about 11,200 and uh, right at the top of our trail where we topped out. And just a gorgeous little mountain lake, natural, surrounded by pine trees. And uh, we're coming to the end of our trail because uh, it ends up at Wilson Meadows. So we're almost there, less than a mile. So we'll show that to you. But man, what a what a view coming over this hill and there's that natural, probably spring fed little lake there. Well, we made it to the start of the Wilson Mountain Meadows. Just unbelievable. Well, we're coming to the end of our trail and we got a packed old van siding. So this morning when we got on trail, we were the only ones in the parking lot and uh, 
our hike up the mountain uh, was just us. Didn't see another single human being. Coming down the mountain, we passed about 12 hikers, as you can see by the added uh, traffic during the parking lot. But uh, so you can't see the Lizard's Head Mountain from here. That's what we saw on top. But this little valley here, that dispersed camping area across the highway is called uh, the Lizard Head Dispersed Camping. And uh, I found out about it about three years ago and it just really looked unbelievable. But this is the first time we've actually been able to uh, utilize it. And it's uh, it used to go further back in that uh, valley there um but i guess they're getting so much traffic it was kind of uh, messing up the wildlife so they they brought in some rocks and they kind of cordoned it off to where you can just stay in that that area there you can see around the rocks and uh, we camped last night if you follow the rocks around to the right there's one site that's back in the pine trees and a really pretty site and then we came over here this morning and uh got to do this hike but uh there's sheep mountain right there just beautiful views of all of this backside of Wilson Mountain chain uh, just can't say enough good things about it and then uh, there's old boo coming down the mountain when she comes just a wonderful hike this morning great weather it's over. Apparently she's glad it's over. She's always the one that wants to hike, but then she's always the one that wants to have it ready to be done. So, all right, we'll head down to Paco and see what's next on the agenda.